Okay, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you guys, but I'm recording this clip after I've recorded everything else. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to actually include this clip in the um, gaming set video. But if I do, I mean, I just figured that majority of you guys who are subscribed or like, you know, if you guys are new or you guys are from Twitch, this would be the video you guys would want to watch. I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who is subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you guys regularly watch my videos, you know, drop the likes, drop the comments. Also to everyone who's following the Twitch channel, especially if you guys are subscribed or have donated. Honestly, guys, like, thank you so much. You guys have made this happen. And all you guys inspire me and push me to create more content for you guys, despite how competitive it is, you know, on YouTube and Twitch. Um, yeah, just, just thank you so much. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I'm not trying to show off or anything. This is our work together, honestly. And I, I'm just so grateful that I could have, you know, such a great place to work in. But uh, yeah, with that being said, um, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. What's going on YouTube? As Nick Cho, bringing you guys the As Nick Cho Gaming Setup 2018. I don't, I don't know what got into me, but I woke up today and I walked to the gaming setup. And I was just looking at it. I just stood there and I was looking at my gaming setup and I was in disgust of like, I guess the wiring. There was stuff on my desk that didn't need to be there. And I just let it slip away during the semester. But since it is summer now, I decided to take down everything. Like this whole gaming setup came off the desk and I pretty much reworked and restructured the entire gaming setup. Every year I do a gaming setup and I guess this is gonna be the official gaming setup of 2018. I'm probably not gonna be getting a lot more stuff since stuff did just come in the mail today. Now, before we get into the gaming setup, you guys have to do one thing if you guys wanna see it, all right? If you really wanna see the gaming setup, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, um, and as we go throughout the whole gaming setup, if you guys have any questions, drop them in comments down below. And yeah, I got you guys. But anyway, yeah, let's get into the gaming setup. Okay, now some of you guys might notice it is kind of dark. It is nighttime. I only have this one ceiling light on right now. And it's pretty dark on camera. This camera does not take in light the greatest. But I'm going to work from left to right and try to go over everything that I can. Once again, if you guys have any questions on the setup, just make sure to stop me. I mean, well, okay, just make sure to drop a comment. And yeah, I'll try to get back to you guys. Anyway, right here is my ring light. Anyway, this is one of the new things that came in today. One of the things that really bothered me in my streams is that my lighting was not ever, I felt like my lighting was not ever good enough. And honestly, I mean, you guys can kind of tell it's pretty dark in here um, at night. So what this ring light is, I mean, if you guys watch makeup tutorials or something, um, I think a lot of, a lot of makeup tutorial um, YouTubers um, have a ring light, but this ring light is just like um, a white light. It gives that extra lighting. So right here, you guys can see I have my camcorder here for the stream. So this is my webcam that is on stream. Um, it's a Canon Vixia HF R800, I think. I'm not too sure. I'll try to link it in the description. I'll link as many things in the description as I can. I know that YouTube only limits a certain amount of things uh, in the description. As you guys can see, like we have a lot of stuff here. But um, this is my ring light. This is Zomei 18-inch ring light. And I'm going to show you guys, for example, all right, if I'm... Oh, let me just show you guys. So, for example, right, I have the camera right in line with the ring light. I'm going to turn it on really quickly. You can adjust the brightness. Um, it can get even brighter than this. That orange um, layer around can actually come off and it can get even brighter. But I think the lighting already from just this is just good enough. Plus, this ring light is very bearable to have, like, shining at me while I'm actually playing um, a game. Like, you know, imagine how hard it would be if I have, like, a really, like, blinding light um, going at me. But if I did want to make it brighter, just letting you guys know, um, I can. So this is a new ring light. So let me just turn that off really quick. It's off now and it's, it's got dark. I wonder how, I, I couldn't even see, I'm using my new uh, camera, so I couldn't see how I looked. But I, hopefully I, you guys can see the difference. Anyway, um, you guys can see we have a scuff controller, um, a lead controller, the thumbstick came off, um, but this is the only lead controller that I have. This is definitely getting worn out. I had this for like three years now. Anyway, uh, back here, you guys can see, this is a Battle Beaver. This is, a battle beaver this is a regular xbox controller camo this is another battle beaver um and this is what is this what are you this is a regular ps4 controller i think that one came with the ps4 pro that's why um cable management it's a lot better than before as you guys probably saw earlier when i started this video the sad reality of being a gamer is that no matter what you guys do cables will exist i mean you can hide them you can tuck them in um fortunately though i think it's not that bad because from this view, they're not. It's not really visible. It's all hiding by the monitor. So I mean, that's not too bad. But um, I even have my LED strip. Um, the the tape and everything is coming off. But I mean, the way it'll bounce off the wall. I'll show you guys everything. I'll show you night mode in a little bit. Get hype. Get excited. Don't click off the video yet if you guys want to see my setup in the dark. 
But um, anyway, this is a BenQ 24 inch monitor. I don't know the exact model, but um, this is a console gaming monitor. 1080p, uh, 60 hertz, it rotates. I'm not gonna rotate it though. Um, it goes up and down. If you guys wanna push it down, well, there. It's going down, it goes up. I don't wanna mess with it too much. I don't wanna break it. Um, I already have a broken BenQ. So I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Oh shoot, my monitor just went off. But yeah, like I said, I, I, I don't wanna touch that too much. Um, moving on. Xbox One S. We still need to upgrade to the Xbox One X, but um, this works for now. I'm waiting for the price to go down. Like it's been five hundred dollars since like November, whenever it came out in November. So I'm just waiting on that. I definitely want to upgrade because right now the graphics in the Xbox One S can't really compete with the PS4 Pro. PS4 Pro is bay right now. Um, extra hard drive for the console. Although this is a two terabyte. Um, yeah, I don't know why we had. I had this before. That's why. Um, Astro headset right here, hanging on the monitor. This is an Asus 4K 60 hertz monitor. Um, I don't play a lot of PC games, but and I just hooked this up as well. But look at that, this is so sick. By the way, if you guys have not watched My Hero Academia, that is the anime to watch. It is so hype right now. Um, yeah, totally nerding out. I should I should really change my wallpaper before, uh, I should have changed it before I recorded this video. But whatever, My Hero Academia is pretty cool. You know what? I, I'm actually going to show you guys something really cool. So there's this thing called Wallpaper Engine that I got on Steam, right? And key to having the best, the coolest stream possible, okay, is to have a variety of awesome wallpapers. For example, if I want to switch it, check this out, check this out. Name the anime in the comments if you guys know. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Look at the, cl I could like rotate the time and everything. Um, let me show you guys one more wallpaper. I know this is not really a part of the gaming setup. I mean, it is, but it's not but it's okay, you guys have to deal with it. Um, one Punch Man, he has a One Punch Man, his little fist there, knuckles, knuckles, yes. Um, one Punch Man, pretty cool stuff. But yeah, um, that's Wallpaper Engine for you guys. Um, if you guys want, I could talk a little bit more about that in a different video. Um, Astro Mix Amp for the Xbox One X, Astro Mix Amp for the PS4 Pro, a second Astro headset, I don't really like unplugging. Now I know having two Astro headsets might be pretty ridiculous to have. But um, it just makes it so much easier when I'm streaming to swap from one headset to the other instead of needing to switch and unplug. I already know like one of my friends, um, one of his cables broke. So I mean, it's just, you know, better that way. Plus, I think I got one of them for a pretty good price. Um, down here, Logitech um, mouse, gaming mouse, um, Corsair, keyboard. FYI, um, it's not RGB, it's just red. I do like red, but I mean, I wish I'd gone RGB because the mouse um, changes, you know, goes rainbow mode. This doesn't, but oh well. Um, I gotta suck that up. Um, I didn't talk about this monitor yet. This is a pretty cheap monitor. It's Asus one millisecond. All these monitors, by the way, are all gaming monitors, but this is an Asus 1080p monitor, um, does the job. I used to use this as my main monitor until I realized I could hook up two monitors since I have, you know, a pretty okay computer. Um, but that's that. Oh yeah, chair. This is from Amazon. It's called a Kinzel. Um, out of everything in the gaming setup, if I could tell you guys not to purchase one thing out of the entire gaming setup, um, it would be not to purchase a Kinzo. This thing creaks and squeaks and it's very uncomfortable. So, I mean, if you guys have the money, buy an office chair, buy a higher end gaming chair. Um, but yeah, it, it's a chair, it does the job, it holds my weight. So, um, yeah, we're having, we have this chair. It's very uncomfortable though. My back, my back hurts whenever I stream. Anyway, um, tripods, lots of tripods. Um, this microphone right here, this is the Rode NT1A, I think. I'm not too sure. I think it is. I'll, I'll try to link this. This right here is an XLR powered microphone. Now, a lot of YouTubers will tell you guys or will have videos on USB powered microphones, which is why I end up starting off with a Blue Yeti. But um, honestly, the sound quality on an XLR microphone, no matter what microphone you buy, it doesn't have to be this microphone specifically. But if you watch any like professional streamers, or big name streamers, big name YouTubers, a lot of them don't record their videos with a USB powered microphone just because of background noise. XLR microphones, you know, pretty much clean up your voice completely. It blocks out background noise um, from your air from your air conditioner or you know anything like that. In my opinion, if you guys do have the money, um, this would be one thing that I would tell you guys to get. Um, you know, any XLR microphone. They're not very expensive. The thing is that with an XLR microphone, you guys will need to have a uh, audio interface so I have the UX the line pod UX2 that's the name of this interface um, I think Tim the time man uses this I'm not too sure 
Um, I know that Ninja uses this. I saw this in uh, Ninja's video. I didn't. I didn't even know that. All right, I bought this before I knew that. Okay, I'm not trying to copy Ninja, but this is a very good interface. It's pretty expensive. Um, yeah, everything. Just the interface and the mic already. I think it will cost you like four hundred dollars. I want to say I'm. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it. But um, yeah, a lot more expensive than a USB microphone, but a lot better in quality. All right. Anyway, moving on. Right here, um, I have my Rode. Um, microphone stand this microphone stand is pretty expensive as well but I think this is the best microphone stand on the market um, it is an Amazon it's like a hundred dollars um, well at least when I bought it I'm pretty sure the price didn't go down since it is the best um, but you can like move this thing up and it'll stay you can move it down and it'll stay you can swivel um, it just pretty much lets the microphone move anywhere even though if this was expensive I do not regret this purchase as well I think we're doing the end here um, right here guys is the PC um, old PC. I've had this for, ooh, let's see. I've had this for <laughs> like two years, maybe three years. Um, it's getting, it's getting older, but it, it still does the job. Um, PCs are expensive. So, I mean, I can't be swapping out a PC every, every few years, maybe one day. But, uh, for now this, this, uh, Bertha is going to have to do, um, it's from cyber power. I bought it off cyber power during like a black Friday sale. Um, they have sales all year round though, but if you guys can't build your own, I would advise to build your own. For all you uh, spec technicians, i7 5820K uh, GTX 1080 graphics card, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> That's all that I know. But uh, yeah, this is the PC. PC, let me see if I could uh, show you guys the side here. Um, yeah, no fancy lighting or anything, just has the graphics card. That's the only light inside of this PC. But it gets, it gets the videos edited, it gets the job done. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Softbox light. You guys were probably like, what the heck is this thing? Um, this is a light, another light. So I'm just going to hold this right here. I think there's a switch. I just got this softbox light today, but, uh, bear with me. Um, it's still, it's still new. It's not the best quality, but it does get the job done. Once I know there's a lot more high quality softbox lights, but I'm not trying to do any major photography or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, get some good light onto me. Now, the reason why I set up two so two lights was because this light can last six hours long. And I don't want to burn out the light because, uh, I mean, it, it's not, it, it's going to kill the, the light. It's going to overheat too. It could break. So, um, I actually have two of these. I do other, um, videos as well, like food videos. I'm starting that up on the channel. So if I ever need to go to the dining room downstairs and film a video, I have two of these. So I have one here. I have one that I, need, I, that I still need to set up. But when I'm not using this light, for example, if I need to switch over, I have this light right here. And if I just flip this switch, boom, it, it is bright. I hope I don't do anything bad to my camera. All right, there's one last cool thing that I have to show you guys that I have to, have to, have to show you guys. Um, give me a second, all right? Count to five, count to five. Actually, I need to turn, I need to turn the lights off. Give me a second. Okay, lights are off. So this is the gaming setup when the lights are off, you know, very dark, scary, ooh. But check this out, all right? Five, four, three, two, one boom check it out check it oh, i hope the camera picks this up well but the, this guys is my um rgb led setup um i know this i don't need for the youtube channel right? this is for the streams um the streams seem to like this but uh this is all connected to an app on my phone so give me a second to actually connect um, my phone to uh the lights but just give me a second this is <laughs> this is sick right i know this is like I, when I when I set this up and I saw this though. This was like I was so happy with this. Like I've ne I never dreamed that I'd have a gaming setup plus like super cool lights. All right, so check it out. All right, there's an app on my phone right here, and this controls like the whole thing. So I can just turn this on to gradual, and it'll just slowly kind of just give it a second. It'll there we go, gradual. Um, I can choose the color. Um, I can go red, green, I can pick any color I want, white light, 
um, purple, all these colors. Um, I can do like two colors of gradual. Um, I don't really like green and blue, but if I want to go green and blue, I can just do green and blue only. Um, there's flicker, so if I want to party with the stream, um, we could get get a party going on. Uh, stro this this is this one's pretty scary. Strobe, I think this this is not very healthy. But yeah, anyway, um, this is the uh, whole RGB setup we got going here. Yeah, but um, that is the official As Nature Industries um, gaming setup office. For those of you who don't know, I actually um, stream my games and make videos inside of like a storage room in the house. So, um, I mean, this is my little corner of the entire house that I have to myself. Also, everything that I showed you guys in this video, like all the equipment, everything that I own, um, it was all purchased by me. Nothing was sponsored, nothing was just given to me. I worked for my money and I used the money that I earned from work to um, purchase all this stuff for the gaming setup. Um, I, I know it's starting to get kind of overkill, but if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, becoming a YouTuber, becoming a Twitch streamer is my goal. Like I really, really want this so badly. And my way of thinking is that I wanna have a fully functional place to do my work, you know, to make content for you guys. And yeah, I mean, me just restructuring the whole office, making it, you know, somewhere that I'm happy to work in. It's just a part of what I think I need to get to the next level. Believe it or not, I started off like literally editing videos on a, a laptop from like Costco and it was terrible. Like I could only like record in like 720p. But over the course of the past few years, I worked hard, I saved my money and I purchased stuff that would actually, you know, help me get there to where I want to be. But yeah, um, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy it and you guys didn't like it already, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, drop some comments. I'll answer them as best as I can. Hope to see you guys in my Twitch streams or hope you guys see me in my future videos. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. This is Nick Jero. Have a great day. Have a good night and shoots.